Welcome back. We are going to do some widgets in Android to give you a sense of what's available. So we're going to start a new Android project. Hopefully this will start feeling easier. I'll choose an empty activity this time for the heck of it. Uh, I want to remember to get rid of this. Da -da -da. Kotlin, Android X, I like it. Okay. As Gradle initializes, I'm starting to feel more familiar around here. There's some other parts of the layout and um, interesting assets we haven't talked about. Things like colors, which you can also put in as string literals, strings, and styles. Styles are a way to sort of like uh, CCS um, cascading CSS cascading style files. It's a way to abstract the layout of your text and other things. Okay, the code's up here. So uh, here we have a really simple layout, not a lot going on. Let's take a look at the preview. And let's go into design mode, and we're just going to take a look at what's available. So you have a bunch of different kinds of buttons. There are these chips and chip groups, which we're actually going to use in this class. We're going to use some uh, radio group and radio buttons. Um, so there's a, a bunch of stuff that's available here. Um, you know, an image view lets you put in an image. You could just grab it and draw it in. Here it's actually asking what uh, image I want and uh, don't have it. So if I had a, um, let's see, I shouldn't do this on the fly, but yeah, I'm not going to do that on the fly. So you could uh, give it a file name and it would put it in the image for you. We're going to do a bunch with images, but most of it, it's going to be fetched across the network. And then there are these layouts, which we're going to talk uh, about, especially linear layouts and constraint layouts. And, uh, you know, frame layout is a convenient way to manage a portion of your screen sort of independently. Um, these, you know, a scroll view, a recycler view is a list view. Um, cards are you know, cards, you see those in uh, like a Reddit application, uh, sort of news items, those are cards. Map view, uh, we'll get to, this is, we don't want the legacy. Okay, so uh, if you wanna mess around, you can grab a phone number and pull it in here, and we will grab a button and pull it in here. And then we're gonna take a look at the text, and we're gonna see sort of some of the things that are going on. <clears throat> so we're in a constraint layout whose width and height match the parent, which is the root window. So it's as big as the entire window. Then we've got this text view and you see when I select the text in the XML view, uh, the preview part lights up. So that, that's quite convenient. And again, this guy is constrained basically to be in the middle of our layout. Uh, this is an edit text window, and you can see here um, uh, it's actually saying that the input type is a phone, which will uh, allow it to pull up a, a, a better soft keyboard. Um, and here it's recording the exact location that I put this thing. So we don't really care about this. I was just sort of grabbing it. We can, we can get rid of this whole thing. And then here's a button, and again, you almost never do absolute layout. Um, the button will uh, continue to grow yeah, as much as we need it, even to the highest generation. I, I don't know what I'm even saying here, but you can see what's going on here at the um, button is expanding to to grab all its this text and uh you know uh, as we saw before there are a bunch of uh autocomplete 
things that you can take a look at, like uh, text style we didn't do before. So, you know, let's do bold. And now our text is bolded. So th that stuff is useful and I encourage you to sort of play around with it. I think one thing to notice that's uh, kind of interesting, there are different kinds of values here. So we can say uh, a particular height that's an absolute value. <coughs> we can have an abstract value like wrap content. And then you can also grab a, a value that's defined in one of these value files. Like we can say Android background uh, color accent. And then it helpfully puts a little swath of this color, which is pretty hideous. And that's our, our background. And th there's no magic here. This color, there is color accent is defined as this particular hex value. So that's that's just what's going on there. And if, if you don't want to do this, um, they frown on this in Android development, but you can give it, um, that's a gray value here. Let me make it black. Um, Do I need, I need an alpha channel for black? Oh no, you can't. You can't see the black swath because it's on black background. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. And you can't see it because, uh, uh, yeah. I sorry. You have to give it this pound sign, and then FFF is uh, white. It's not black, so that's white, and that's the background. And then if we made this. Um, all zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's RGB, that's black. And you know, you can play around with this, but um, that's a little bit of a dark red. Sat, you know, this is the most saturated red. Anyway, we'll talk uh, more about colors, but something to keep in mind. Um, Uh, you notice that right now, hello, hello world is sort of at the top of this 50. We can give it some gravity, put it in the middle. Uh, let's make this thing a little bigger. It's a little hard to see. Uh, te no, not textile. Size. Okay, there we go. Um... So that that's still, uh, hey, let's let's turn this back into wrap content, and then uh, there are. Um, let's just let's just throw another text view up here, and you know we'll give it uh, wrap content, wrap content, and we'll give it. Some text size of two and yeah, some text. Um, and let's do constrain the, the top to the bottom of oh, this guy who doesn't have an ID. And you know, if it occasionally gets uh, confused, let it be confused. Um, let's call this our hello text view. And we are constraining the top to hello text view. See, and now well, that guy popped in there, hit slash. Everybody's happy. Hello world. Hi, I'm text. These are uh, next to each other. Okay, very cool. Uh, let me emphasize this relationship.
between margin padding content. And I'll go back and show you some of this stuff. But, um, you know, the content that we have, like uh, the, you know, the um, text has a width and a height. And in Android, the origin is, is always in the upper left. We're not going to get too far into this, but uh, right now, but you will in your homeworks and stuff. So we start with x equals zero over here and x increases and y equals zero over here and y increases. So this is our content. Then there's padding between the content and the border. And then there's a margin between the border and something else. Okay, so let's see that in action here. If I come in here and I add some padding, uh, a lot of padding, what happens? Oh my gosh, this this thing, the you know the space between the border and the content gets bigger, pushes this thing away. If I come in here and I add some margin, and uh, you know you can see you can do you know just margin on the top or just padding on the top. And then let's let's also do it sort of exaggerated. Oh, you know, um, now even though he's constrained here, he's got a bunch of padding here. Okay. So these are some of the things you want to be aware of when laying out widgets.